Yeah, so I don't know. What about you, uh, Mike and, and Dirk? What are some of the, the highlights that you've maybe had over the two years? Really, uh, this is probably it. It's it's finally ending. I get my evenings back. <laughs> finally done with this shit. Oh, my God. Hello and welcome to the final episode for now of Wizards, Warriors and Words, a fantasy writing advice podcast. I'm Jed Hearn, author of Across the Broken Stars, and I'm joined by my fellow writers for one last time, starting with Rob J. Hayes. Hello, I'm Rob J. Hayes. <laughs> Rob Bros. And he's As soon frozen. as you said that. <laughs> Wait, now he's just sitting there staring he's at sitting, me. He's sitting there. mesmerizing. <laughs> Yes, Rob, I shall obey. <laughs> What's going on? I ass- oh, man, we've had I assume Rob is talking. Yeah, classic. <laughs> this, it's good that the last episode is as smooth as all the others. That's It'd right. be really weird if we sort of did this well. Yeah. I don't know if anyone can <laughs> We started being professional can you hear me? right here. Yeah, we can, can hear you now, Rob. <laughs> oh, there we go. Can you hear us, Rob? I'm Rob. I can hear you, yeah. I've been able to hear okay. you this entire uh, time. And my I can fellow just hear you other just writers and about me. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> my fellow writers are Michael. What? Hi, I'm Hot J. Ray. That's your cue to introduce yourself. <laughs> and Dirk, uh, author of the Mortal Instruments. Wait, ah, <laughs> that's Cassandra Clare. <laughs> I stab at thee. <laughs> I can't and see. Lastly, Dirk. So Ashton. it's upset. Do you wanna, this is fucked up. Do you want to introduce I'm, yourself, Dirk? I'm just. I'm going to try to do this right for once. Uh, Thank you. I'm Dirk Ashton, and I wrote the Paternus trilogy. And this episode is going to come to a shock to a lot of you out there. I would imagine. One of the four people here is going to be dead by the time we stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sudden death episode. Wow, it's entirely Mike, possible. Really one of us is already dead. Create tension. Huge twist. Maybe the twist is that we've all been dead all along. So what the fuck are we doing here anyway? Yeah. So I think who, we should. Who are you people? What are you in doing in my computer? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're here to we're here to hack you, Dirk. Uh, we're here to take over <gasps> all your manuscript files. Um, yeah, so we have unfortunately decided to put the show on indefinite hiatus at this stage, um, which is sad because this has been really fun to do. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to get into some of the reasons behind it. Uh, yeah, but before that, it has been like a really, really cool run. We've been doing this show for, I think it's over two years at this point. Is that right, guys? thousand years. thousand yeah, years? Yeah, a couple of million. Nine million episodes. You told me. We've actually been doing somewhere. it before time was a thing. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. We invented time on the show. Um, the Big Bang so, was delayed because it was actually watching one of our early episodes. <laughs> That's right. And it was so confused by the chaotic lack of structure. <laughs> um, yeah, so what? actually, yeah, I think it exploded August, to give then. the world a bit of the universe some structure. These guys, fuck them. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Structure. <laughs> some scaffolding, finally. Um, yeah, so we started in, I think it was August of 2020 and we've done probably, I think around 120 episodes, 130 episodes, something like that. Um, yeah. And that's a lot. That's a lot of episodes. Um, yeah, the first one was August August of 20. There you go. Um, I think we were talking about characters in that episode. Jed, I have, I have a question for you. Mm. Have you ever sworn on this podcast? Have you said a naughty word? The entire I think, so. I think he here. ever has. I'm sure I have. I don't think he has. No. Do it, Jed. I, I have it. Do right, it. Can you drop us a bomb? Drop me one bomb, please. Okay. Come on, please. He drop can. me a bomb. Shit. Are you happy? Choice. Word of your... There he, he said. I just did it. Actually, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm good. We can move on. <laughs> I could tell that hurt him. <laughs> I could tell it hurt. He's in pain. <laughs> the, the tw- He's in pain right now. <laughs> shit. Oh. So much mortal time. I thought this Australians were supposed to be that one. Abuse I have to deal with on this show. <laughs> Um, yeah, so <laughs> for, uh, yeah, anyone else with any last requests, we better get them in before this, this episode finishes. So Robin, Dirk, start thinking of that. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, what, so anything? just for a variety uh, of reasons. I think reasons. we should shave oh, Michael's head live on camera. Yeah, Mike, get the, get the shaving kit I'm out right with now. That. <laughs> Your head is like is already sort of shaven. 
You've got a Don't sword behind you. It's pretty you. close. There's a sword. Come yeah, on. There's a, there's a sword right there. Ah. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Uh, this is how men shave. Oh, am I scalping myself or shaving? <laughs> I can't even watch. <laughs> <laughs> the commitment to the bit is so good. <laughs> um, yes. So uh, slick as always. That was that was great. Wow, Dirk. It feels like you need to get a last request in now. Me? Uh, yeah. I um. Uh, I want to be able to grow a beard like Rob Hayes. Ooh. Can we do yeah, that right now? A little magic? Yeah. yeah. Rob, what's your I'm secret? I'm sure we could CGI it in later. Get, get Adrian on it. Like, just draw a beard on him. <laughs> the whole time. So it's like going like this as I move around. <laughs> it's moving around. Just keep your head very still, and that'll make his editing job much easier. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, we should probably actually address why we're sort of finishing the show up uh yeah i think it's like a variety of yeah. reasons for for all of us we don't like you people that's right we all we no. all despise each other and um yeah we can't can't bear to see each other's faces um <laughs> it's been <laughs> no, it's fletcher, been a, fletcher loves yeah, us so, he was talking about the general public he hates everyone else yeah writers oh, are see. gods everyone else models. oh that's fine yeah yeah, yeah. just yeah. mock ourselves in our fellow ivory tower and yeah not not communicate with any any of the readers out there who sustain our, our dreams and hobbies and hopes. <laughs> um, yeah. So we, we can get into like some of, the, some of the more specific reasons, but yeah, I think this, this was sort of prompted when um, yeah, some of the time different stuff was getting a bit tricky as, as you might know, we're located in like four different countries with four different time zones. So right now, you know, it's 6am. It's actually here. on Mars, which makes it yeah. very awkward. Yeah. It's very the, the odd 30 very second tricky. delay that we're still not really accustomed to not to mention every time we were trying to set the Sorry, episode, we had the same discussion about time zones like what time is this for you yeah. what time is it for you what yeah, time is it time. for them i don't fucking know and then we so, have to do uh, where does he live? daylight South savings South. time and daylight standard time and the difference of it so between th- this here is and where we UK. do our bid for uh we want uh est earth standard time the entire world just earth working on time. one time Let's zone please thank you but as long it as it's mine and Mike's, <laughs> we don't want anything. So yeah, that's where the problem don't is. Claire, the number is the number. <laughs> yes, um, I'm, I'm sure someone has considered that as a proposal, actually. But yeah, so that look, that's just one of the reasons why it was sort of getting increasingly difficult to to do the show. Um, and then, yeah, with all of us, I think we've we've found ourselves become progressively more focused on like other projects over the last two years, as like you know all of our respective author careers have kind of taken off and everything. Um, and yeah, just kind of found ourselves in the place where it's like, this has been a fantastic run, but also it's, it's sort of at the point now, uh, at least, at least this is how I feel. And and you guys can sort of speak to any specific reasons where, where you guys want to as well. Um, where it's like, there's just a lot of stuff on my plate right now. And, uh, in order to actually write books well, which is the, the main thing that I'm in this for, um, I do feel like, yeah, I need to need to pause my involvement in this. Um, which is a shame because it's been really fun chatting with you guys and I've learned a ton over the last two years and everything. Um, but yeah, it's just sort of at the point now where it's been a good run and um, it's time to sort of, yeah, wrap it up so that I'm not just, yeah, continually stretching myself and everything. So yeah, those are sort of like the main reasons for me. I don't know if you guys have anything that you want to add to that in, in particular. Well, I think for me, I can't really a lot of things have changed. I would love to keep doing it, but um, I can't take over any of the responsibility of doing it. You know, it's that typical Dirk thing where it's like, yeah, I'd love to do this, but I'm not going to do any of the work. You do all the work. I'll just show up. But it's it got even worse lately with um, family stuff and uh, my folks getting older and house renovations and my father uh, having a progressively worse dementia and uh when he went through uh chemo he's off chemo now but what we found out that means is he's be- he's become much more alert and much more active and sleeps a lot less which actually takes more of our time because it's like chasing a three-year-old hmm. around the house most of the time yeah um making sure doesn't run off outside and fall down and not be able to get up which happened yesterday 
and uh, open the back door and let the cat out that shouldn't be out um, and disappear for a day and just that kind of that kind of thing. There are a lot lot of things like that going on. Um, mm. They just have been taking more and more time. Um, so I'm even less less able uh, and inclined to to take over the producing responsibilities or organizing kind of stuff and and I will miss it very much um and really appreciate everybody who's uh who's become a listener listener and gotten something out of it um for sure sorry we won't be contributing more at least for the indefinite future um but uh but uh I've been very happy and glad and lucky to be involved that's yeah, it. well said, Dirk. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Stop listening nice. to me. Don't look at me. I, to be honest, for me, it's like, uh, yeah, I, I, I certainly wasn't. Uh, I, I'd never feel confident enough to take over the the, the leading the podcast reins that, that Jed's been doing all this time, and I can't imagine doing this Wizards, Warriors, and Words thing without you know all of you three. Well us four uh that's how we yeah, started it would be weird. kind of feels like that's how it should always be i thought he was gonna uh, say so, all of you freaks freaks uh no so you know the, the the moment we sort of like it started getting really tough and and then you know jed obviously said i, I think i need to step down it's kind of like well this is probably going to be it over then isn't it you've you've got a lot of book stuff going on and you just got married Oh, yes, ring that's new since the last time we recorded. It looked like a Congrats, really Rob. cool. If you guys haven't follow, uh, if you don't follow Rob on uh, Facebook, you should because he's got a lot of really awesome pictures from his wedding and his. I armed everybody at the and Bristol with Con. swords. Yeah, that's so cool. But yeah, that, that, that's, that's awesome. basically Mike. I don't know if you have. I can't imagine. Yeah, doing no, that's this fair. About, I appreciate that, you guys. So. Yeah, it would be strange. Yeah, I, I kind of <laughs> never wanted to do this to begin with. I w- was tricked into doing this and I was never sure this was a good idea. And if the guy who actually is doing all the work uh, and putting all the effort into making it happen is leaving, that sounds like a bad thing. I'm like, well, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, pretty much. I'm glad we were able to so, uh, doing two years worth. Pretty of much, show. yeah. <laughs> it was. It's funny. I mean, we started up. As- I know. Well, it's like you tricked me. You're like, oh, all these other people said yes, and they were like, who? <laughs> <laughs> two years later, yeah. we're all kind of confused as to why we're here. Still, that's right. Well, that's I mean, right. we, we started this yeah, every still. weeks, but you know, we're like, what? What are we doing yeah. here? Why? Are yeah, we here? it's like, who are you? People? Yeah, we uh, we started on a lark, right? You know, like, oh, okay, fuck it, uh, let's give it a shot, and. We'll think, do an think episode. It'll, think it will be do it. We'll do one or two or three or four or five, and and then we just kept going and going. It's really wild. Yep. It's really wild to think back. I mean, to be it fair, is crazy right? to this is a, a writing we advice like podcast. We've been doing this for mm. two years now. We've given you all the fucking advice. Go write your book. <laughs> yeah. We don't have anything like, else. I never to thought say. we were. I never thought we were a writing advice podcast. I, I never saw what we did as that. We we talked around stuff. No. Nah. And we talked approaches and offered sort of um ideas, things to use or toss. Yeah. But you know, we're we're not a like, oh, this is how you do it. Yeah. Because we don't fucking know. Yeah. We're terrible at this. Well, that is true. It's also in the name. Wizards, Warriors and Words, a writing advice podcast. Yeah. Uh, see, I never actually watched any of vi- any of our videos i, I didn't know that <laughs> he, he actually hates us you only have yourself to i think i've Mike. honestly to be honest i think i've watched two maybe two yeah i can't yeah i don't good. need to watch it yeah, I, was I would here. say i probably listen to maybe 10 <laughs> yeah i feel the same way it's like you record this stuff and you say it and then like there's occasional episodes where i do re-listen to it because there was like something the guest said that I, or, or one of you said that I really wanted to like ingrain within me. But for the most part, it's like, yeah, we get to experience the show live while we're creating it. There's no real need to um, 
to go back. For the and most part, we never said anything useful, so there was <laughs> no need to go back and listen to that drivel again. Yeah. Having said that, though, it it will be fascinating. I think maybe you know in a couple of months or years, the fact that we now have this archive of like 120 episodes that capture this particular point within our writing lives that we can all you know go back and listen to and kind of yeah remind ourselves of where we were during that because. Like you, Mike, for instance, when we started the show, you know, you weren't doing writing full time. And then sort of midway through the show, you transitioned off the the success from Blackstone Heart and that series. And like, I think you probably talked a little bit about that on the show as well. So it's kind of cool to have this as like a time capsule of all that. You know, what's really terrifying that I just realized mm. I haven't released yeah, what? a new book. I haven't released a new book since we started really no shit wow, rob okay. dropped like 30 of them yeah so did oh, you did, you you had you released like uh book three didn't you i think yeah. book three came out well august well yeah august of 2020 and we did our first episode on august 3rd of 2020 so yeah, yeah. it might have just it was just coming out but i had already written well, it it was done and prepared get writing dirt so. get the next book done I know. I we've know. given you all the advice get it done and how many of you how many of you put out Rob, episodes of advice. since august since beginning since of august, august 2020 2020 yeah so so many i don't know <laughs> no four four is that right four yeah, I was well, going to say. You, no, more. you did a rapid release. No, that was before. I bet it's that was before. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. That that was before. Was before. Uh, okay. I did. There was two Mortal Techniques books. There was the fourth, uh, uh, War Eternal book, and there was the and there was Titan Hoffers. Yeah, four four books. Okay. A paltry four books. I got slacker. Mikey, how many did you? I actually don't know. I think it's three, but I have a fourth that could have been released, but is out on submission. So it could have been four. But you know, I, right, we you've got, you've got a, like you wrote, a book or two out. Are we counting the one that you wrote with uh, Clayton? Because that's... Oh, sure yeah. I was going to say, Norelsky oh. Groans came out at yeah. that time. Don't forget yeah, that one. Three and a half? Three no, and no, half. I'm thinking four and a half, surely. <laughs> nice. Yeah, four and a half. Four and a half? Yeah, yeah I don't know. It's been a couple. It's a, it's a blur. <laughs> Jed, how uh, many you, no, have um, you put out? Unwise d- decisions. I put out well one book and one game. So Thunder Heist came out, I think, yeah. a couple of weeks after the show. And then uh, Seize of Trebolin, which is the interactive fiction game, that came out earlier this year. So, yeah. Right. One book, one game. Not quite as prolific as, uh, as Robin, Robin Mike. But Jed also that BH'd game was six huge. years. He started off this thing as 12, and he's now six. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, I de-aged further? Six? That game was pretty big. It was like 280,000 words. So it was a a mission. Bloody hell. That's that's almost three novels for me. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Plus, I I figured that I wrote it way slower than I wrote a novel because there was all coding and that sort of thing required. So when I actually convert that into a novel form, it probably would have been like three books. Um, which is kind of wild to consider, but it has done well and it's been good fun. So great. It, glad I did it. Um, good. I thought we should definitely thank our incredible patrons who have, yeah. yeah, as we was, as we were saying before the episode have, have paid exorbitant fees to listen to us ramble about writing adjacent topics. So thank you so much. If you're one of those people, um, I'm going to read out the full <laughs> list of all of you right now because really appreciate your support. Um, and also with patrons as well, what I'll try, I'll be trying to do, I really should have checked that I can do this before this episode starts. We have five patron exclusive episodes up on the Patreon right now. I'm going to try to pause the patron so that you don't get charged for this again, but so that you still get access to those episodes. And if that doesn't work for whatever reason, I will, I don't know, try to figure out something else, but I'll, I'll message you about that. So, uh, He'll at come the moment, we've your got 29 wonderful patrons. Each episode personally. Yeah, <laughs> that's so good. I'm a floppy disk. We'll read all four parts <laughs> in the correct accents live. 
with drunken slurring occasionally or hungover kind of bleariness as a And he will be forced nice. to curse. <laughs> he will that would oh, actually be many, many times. Yeah. That would be funny as he, hell. He will if say bad things out these episodes. about Brandon Sanderson. Uh-huh. No. And you'll see that no. his that eyes cause me dying great as he delivers us life. <laughs> Is, is is that our one biggest that disappointment so at least for Jed that we never got Brando on the uh, on the podcast? That's mine. That's definitely yeah. I'm also weirdly glad we did it because I feel like it would have just <laughs> it would have been too sad to see Michael Fletcher destroy Brandon Sanderson in front of me. Um, when I respect both of you, I would never so be rude. He, I would never. Mike be would rude. just that be really like little... quiet. <laughs> Um, we'll actually get into highlights later because there's something I want to talk about on that. So yeah, thanks to all our patrons, Taylor, Daniel, Lewis, Adam, Daniel, again, different Daniel, uh, Evan, Jared, Steve, Tyler, Feral Gamers Inc., John, M, uh, Tanaya, Tom, Bender, Drew, John, Joshua, Lloyd, Luke, Oliver, Tom, Tyra, Jeffrey, Kev, Marcella, Matt, Nick, uh, Salmon Like the Fish, and I think that's everybody. So thank you to all of you. And we've had other patrons as well who've you know, been in for we so a few weeks before. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> thank have we, you guys. Have we been <laughs> drinking that money? Like, what the hell is going on? It's been mostly editing fees. And then also when we bought the artwork oh, yeah. back from Felix <laughs> as well. That took a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, we should thank Felix as well for doing, Felix Ortiz for doing our artwork as well, which is graced our episode for two years our graced our podcast and adrian we need to thank um, adrian yes massive thank you to uh adrian gibson who has been the tireless producer and editor of this show since pretty much the start of this year so probably the last yeah probably close to the last like 30 episodes maybe more um he has edited it made us all sound professional and that sort of thing so that has been really, really and good. Also, um, definitely also helped us me. hook some of the big names. That's for sure. He helped us get Joe Abercrombie on, um, which yeah. was mm-hmm. huge. That was definitely a big highlight for me. Yeah, absolutely. Seamless yeah. transition. So yeah, Adrian, it. thanks. <laughs> yeah, we'll get we'll get into highlights in a second. But um, yeah, Adrian has been awesome. Yeah, I don't know if he's really interested in doing that much more podcast editing or whatever, but I can highly, highly recommend him. Um, if anyone out there is needing him in the future, but um, yeah, he's been great. And yeah, to all of you like listeners or watchers who have tuned in and checked out the episode and in particular people who've like sent emails in because there have been like genuinely so many people who've emailed in saying, and I know you guys don't necessarily see this as much, but there've been so many people emailing in being like, oh, like I listened to every episode three times or this is you know, motivated me to start writing again after not writing for years. And now I'm a couple of months into a novel and thanks for your help and everything. So yeah, really appreciate those people who have emailed in, um, talking about how the show has, has helped you out and everything. It's always a surprise to me because as Mike says, most of our episodes just consist of us (laughs) talking over each other and giving incoherent (laughs) advice. So (laughs) it's great when people can extract, um, some benefit from it. Uh, yeah, what are some of the nice things you guys have heard from from listeners? Are there any that that have stood out for you over the years? The best thing for me has been exactly that kind of thing. When when I hear that people um, not not necessarily, it's great when they say, "I've listened to all the episodes and a bunch of them many times." And uh, but when they say they've helped me, especially when they've been encouraged to start writing or to pick writing up again or to just finish the manuscript that they're doing and they finished one um, and they say thanks to you guys. And when I hear stuff like that, that is, that is pretty awesome. You know, as a, I mean, I'm a professor by, by trade and um, hearing that kind of thing from any, from anyone is, uh, is what we, we kind of live for really, you know, um, you really helped me along the way. Um, and, uh, hopefully, you know, it's, it's crazy to, to think about it, but we may get to see some books, um, that may never been a matter, never been finished, um, or books from some authors that may never have really tried or finished up, um, because of what we've done over the last two years. And that's, you know, I, that, that's a real thing. 
and that's that's pretty bizarre to think about, but it is is pretty awesome. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I'm glad you shared that, Dirk. That is that is pretty cool. Rob and Mike, have you guys had any particular listener I've interactions that you want to receive? Received quite a few sort of like messages in the past though, of of people sort of um, saying, "I found the the Wizards, Warriors, and Words podcast from you know from, from you," and then uh, thanks to that, I've sort of started reading Jed or or Michael or Dirk or all three sometimes, yeah. and it's just like I found like new favorite authors, um, which obviously for me that's quite a big thing. I I I like trying to. Mm get new authors in front of people's eyes. That's why I do the whole release blog thing. So the fact that it's, you know, doing this has helped introduce some people, some new people to your guys' works is some major benefit to me, to be honest. Um, even if yeah. they do then like Fletcher's books more than mine. <laughs> well, who doesn't though? Who doesn't, Rob? <laughs> me? Yeah, I'm just started I mean... an enter star the other day, Mike. It's so good. <laughs> I like I like Fletcher's books more than mine. I don't like Fletcher's books. I can't read them. They're fucking they're terrible. <laughs> oh my god! I, I'm like trying to write book three, and I need to go back and read the first two books because I can't remember what's going on. I'm like, ah, oh, it's painful. Just get like your I mean, biggest you read fan it and you're to, like, to oh, this tell you all the things. <laughs> what did I call this character, dude? <laughs> Somebody help yeah. me. Yeah. And my mom's like, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I guess one of yeah, the other so things I've, I want to... I've had a couple oh, sorry, of Mike, folks... No, no, that's fine. Fuck you. Go ahead. No, <laughs> no, no, you go. I was just going to transition <laughs> onto something else. It so doesn't matter. I mean, it's only been two two years of pain and suffering. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> uh, no, it's not a big thing. A couple of, I've had some, some folks reach out and sort of talk about, much as the other two guys said, you know, how they were motivated. Um or or they come back with questions based on stupid shit we said and I have to, you know, defend things I'm like, oh my God. It's like, we didn't plan this. We don't know what we're talking about. But anyway, continue. Yeah, have actually, those, that's a good point. Uh, well. In episode three, uh, at 17 minutes and five <laughs> seconds, you said. <laughs> I never heard anything yeah. like that. But I, But what Rob said too is, you know, I picked up this person's book or that person's book and it usually is you guys, but. Sometimes it's people that we just mention or that we talk mm. about um, as we're going through. And, oh, I'd never read any, uh, you know, Mike Carey's books, or I never read any of Alicia Wastel Burke's books. And I picked those up because one of you guys mentioned them and, 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 and I really love them. So, you know, it's, that's always a cool thing. Yeah, it's been really awesome seeing like, yeah, people who message in saying like, oh, I, I'd never heard of you before. And then I came across this podcast and, I've read your books and I'm really liking it. And now I'm onto the other host books and everything. And it's also cool. Yeah. When we have guests on, like we had a very little known um, author on the other day called Joe Abercrombie. So it's good to give him <laughs> a bit of support and, you know, he yeah. really needs it. So yeah, it was great to, to get a little, a couple of people onto his books. Um, they're quite well written. So yeah, he wrote something you know, called like, the like, guys. like the, like the first lawyer the, or something. The sword like itself or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, something something, something of that nature. It's not like an Ali McBeal spin-off, yeah. Before they were well hung, something. <laughs> I'm not sure what the genre is. <laughs> uh yeah, last last debate of, of monarchs or whatever that one was. <laughs> um yeah. So yeah, a lot of lot of great books. A lot of great books by um by, by Joel Abercrombie out there. Um yeah, whatever 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 his name is. Um yeah, so <laughs> but what are some of the things that have particularly been like highlights to you guys, like whether they're episodes that we did, people we talked to, or even just like writing lessons that you maybe picked up um, on this show. Uh, Will White well, said I learned he liked a lot. the book. Oh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Who did? <laughs> Will White, when he said, I like your book, it was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, Will White almost seemed like weirdly starstruck that he was on a podcast with you, Rob. Because I... <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> He's well fucking white. <laughs> yeah, it was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it was very, very cool to see that. Um, yeah, that was that actually was, probably that like was the one of my favorite episodes. Episode the we ones did. we yeah. did with with Will. We did two episodes with Will. Oh, sorry, yeah. no, four no, episodes. We did two recording sessions with Will. <laughs> That's we right. Did many episodes. Two recording with sessions. Him. 
four episodes with Will. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool, actually. Yeah, him coming on and being like, oh, I didn't know Rob was going to be on this show. I love Rob's books. Uh, Have you used that as like a blurb on your books yet, Rob? Yeah. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, I still use Dirk's blurb uh, on the back of Dirk's blurb. Uh, some of my books. Wow. Well, uh, yeah. I mean... I, I that's the one that I've actually recently sold all my copies of Never Die, so I have no copies of it in the house whatsoever. Nice. It's crazy. That's pretty cool. I still think it's weird that my blurbs show up on people's books, even Rob's. Yeah, there's a new well, one. Mike, I got my um... first. I got my first blurb on a book. It was uh, David Dalglish's uh, "The Bladed Faith." Oh, well, shit! Yeah. That's not a nobody either. That's, that's pretty cool. Big, that's a big name. That's it's awesome. It's a really good book too. You should probably go and check it out. There, yeah. that can be my final recommendation of the podcast. Go check out <laughs> Trap Pub, Lisa's right? Of faith. Yeah, nice. I'll Very try to. Cool. I'll try to get that down in the show notes. What's it called? The Bladed Faith. The Bladed Faith. The Bladed yeah. Faith. And yeah, if you buy a paperback there's, copy, there's my name on it. There's a new one. There's a new Ooh, one I've got. Nice. I'll do a shout out for my buddy Sadir S. Samir, as his very first book got coming out called The. Crew. Hey, wicked. I've yeah. seen him on Twitter over the years, actually. So that's that's pretty cool. No, nah, he's he's a he's a great guy. Yeah, and uh, he's been writing. He's been a lead writer on video games for and producer for for hmm. years. That's what he does professionally, and and he's just got this amazing sense of humor, Middle Eastern setting, with just this. Uh, me here once you called it Bonzo, and yeah, it is. It's just wacky as hell. Nice. Um, called the crew comes out November. 28th 29th whatever that tuesday is so keep an eye out for that and i've got i got a blurb on the back of that one that is pretty cool um i remember mike i saw a blurb from you on the back of the shadow saint by gareth hanrahan who we had on for an episode that's a big Um, deal too yeah i love that book such a good book um yeah Yeah, that series is awesome yeah it's wicked um yeah so i don't know what about you uh mike and and dirk what are some of the the highlights that you've maybe had over the two years? Really? Uh, this is probably it. It's, it's finally ending. I get my evenings. Back. <laughs> <laughs> finally done with this shit. Oh my God. This has been just pain. Two just years of it. Two years of pain. Uh, You're honestly, so drunk. You um, don't remember it. Anyway. I have loved. <laughs> no, I know. Exactly. We're hung over. Uh, honestly, I have loved every episode with a smart guest who can carry a conversation and fly with the fact that we have no fucking clue what we're talking about and, and, ju- and good just humor where it's a, it's a conversation. Yeah. And you, you crack jokes and sometimes they're misses, uh, but everyone's in there and the guests who do that. And it's just fun. Those have been awesome. I love those. And there've been a couple of uh, episodes. Uh, Mike Carey was one of those where the guest just knew so much about what they were talking yeah. about. I don't think I said anything the entire fucking episode yeah. because I was listening and trying to soak shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Same with the Those Sullivans. Those were awesome too. Yeah. So the I mean, Sullivans came on. So, you know, so, so yeah. writing. Yeah. Adrian, so writing, Adrian Tchaikovsky too. Mm. And Anthony Ryan were kind of like yeah. that too. Yeah. yeah. And so like I, I learned a, a ton from our guests. Any episode where I walked away sort of thinking, holy shit. I need to think about that. Yeah. Was good. Yes. And there were a ton of them. Joe Abercrombie was so real and just regular guy and so smart. Mm. He's so likable. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't like yeah. him. Yeah. He's <laughs> so fucking good. Yeah. And his you books know, are amazing. Yeah. And he's funny yeah. and friendly. Yeah. So you've got to wonder so likeable. what's wrong with uh, him. You're too good. I know <laughs> something. Yeah. Very different. He's got skeletons. For yeah, sure. yeah, for very, sure. He probably like different from his Twitter persona. Newborn babies to, you know, yeah. maintain his, his friendliness and writing skill. Mm-hmm. There's going to be something out there. I mean, he definitely works out too. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can he works out. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you there, Mike. I The episodes I've enjoyed the most have usually been almost the ones where I just feel like I'm listening to a podcast because the the guest is talking the whole time. And they're talking about stuff that's so interesting. And I'm like, wow, I'm just like sitting here and listening to a podcast that I would listen to if I was walking. Except and I forget to that we're actually supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although Definitely it's early that, on the, when uh, I was the chaos episodes, that. usually where we get very yeah, that, philosophical, I was gonna, yeah. have always been quite fun. Those, Those have been my fun. favorite, I think. Really fun. 
those have been even I miss those. Yeah, those have been really, really good. Like, yeah, I would almost even say like I've enjoyed some of those at times even more than the interviews with the big guests like Joe Abercrombie and that sort of thing because I feel like that's just something that yeah you don't often hear other writers talking about is like all of the existential difficulties and joys and all of that sort of thing that comes along with this package the, um, the quest and yeah, for they Steve were great. that's right there was a level of honesty among the group which was um was really mm. nice you know th- there was none of this like everything's great yeah. my life is amazing kind of bullshit that people want to pretend it's like no we have issues <laughs> speak <Yeah>. for yourself <laughs> Except for except for Dirk, yeah, he I've got like, no issues. <laughs> Nailed. He's got it figured out. He's got that wise scholarly. Professor. I, I can't even say that How with a straight life. face. <laughs> yeah, no, that's been pretty good. Yeah, definitely, Joe Abercrombie stood out. Um, Sullivan's was amazing. That's like, I, I think, like I told you guys, that's definitely made me decide that and my next book I'm going to try to launch on Kickstarter. So we'll see how that goes. But that is a direct result from what they were talking about on there and everything. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? I was going to say lessons learned, but like, have, have we really learned anything from this, or have we just had, we've just had flat character arcs the whole time through? <laughs> but that's reality. Exactly. I mean, that should be a writing advice thing where you go like, you know, character arcs are bullshit because people don't change. <laughs> you, I will the, have you the know. book where everyone starts shitty at the beginning and ends shitty at the end. You're like, oh, wait, that's Beyond Redemption. I was going to say, oh, that's your most realistic book ever. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm I reading it into you know, right I now. I had a classic female uh, character arc. I shaved my mm. hair. Yeah, true. I mean, come on. You had that's, your Britney that's, face. That's, there we go. I shaved my hair, yeah. and that is character cool. development. Apparently. <laughs> See, I grew my hair long. So is that also character development? No. Probably passes. Doesn't work that way. <laughs> 50 50 i have to <laughs> shave it in order to achieve full development my yep. my character actor as i've gotten older slower and <laughs> uh, i think i think i'm mirroring i might be copying yeah your arc a lot there. of repetitive character arcs in this in this uh, in this group yeah so um is there any last things we want to want to say before we kind of wrap this up for the final time it's gonna be sad saying goodbye to you guys like the number of yeah. oh that was the other thing i was gonna say like the number of times when I felt like kind of demotivated about my writing or just struggling about it or whatever. And then I jumped on a call with you guys and just being surrounded by like three other authors who are all crushing it and writing amazing books. Um, the number of times when that like re-energized and re-motivated me were countless. Um, so yeah, I really- Three. <laughs> like I said, countless. I can't count that high. Countless. <laughs> um, yeah. So no, I, I think there were probably at least like maybe- Okay, maybe not countless, maybe six to seven times, I would say, yeah. which is a lot when you consider. Uh, that's, like, I, that's been true of me at times episodes. when I'm just like, mm-hmm. eh, wah, 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 wah. especially early morning recordings. And I'm just like, and then I'm done and I'm like, okay, let's go. Let's do it. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I will miss that. But yeah, any, any last words from you guys before we sort of wrap up? I just want to thank everybody who's listened. Like, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank also, you. That's... Can wonderful. we get one last look at the beagle? Oh, I yeah. Mean, this is the last chance we're going to see. Cora, Can we have you? a beagle She's face? just left there? the room. Cora. No. Ah, oh, son of a... Cora, come here. Assemble. Cora, Cora has left the building. Assemble. Here we go. <laughs> there she is. Aw. Oh, nice. Uh, the true star. <laughs> Hi, Cora. Hey, Cora. Hi, Cora. Cora. She's actually a little bit under the weather at the moment. She's going to... Aw. Yeah. Did she eat something she shouldn't? No, that's a beagle a thing. Got an infection. entire bag of chips and a larger bottle of wine. <laughs> More likely, a big yeah. giant pile of other dogs' poop. That's a beagle thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does that. Wait, they do that? Yeah. That's oh yeah. Beagles. Dog poo, they eat other dogs' poo, poo, rabbit poo, any Be- type of poo. Beagles. Beagles are known for their their, their shit eaters. Yeah. That's. <laughs> that and rollers. They bizarre. love rolling in it too. Eating it, yeah. rolling in it, just shit. Just they love shit, in it, really. Yeah. <laughs> what a glorious note to end this on. Mike, do you have any, any final words? Mike, Michael. No, Mike, I, I think we just hit the high Mike's, point. Mike's having an epiphany. Maybe I'm a beagle. <laughs> <laughs> that explains so much. <laughs> there you go. 
Rob, do you have any <laughs> any closing remarks? Ah, <laughs> oh, should we be trying? It, it, it wasn't about the 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 whatever the. It was the friends we made along the way. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that one. Nice. The the real books were the friends we made along the way. Made is, along, that, is that where we're yeah, going? That makes perfect sense. Yeah, nice. No, I, I'm just, um, like, I've had a lot of fun doing these things. So thanks to uh, you know Dirk and Michael and fuck you, Jed. Uh, it's been great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah it's been awesome um and yeah also like you know i'm sure that we all can we'll be on panels together in the future or interview each other in the future or whatever so this is hopefully not the last time that you ever see us or listen to us chatting with each other um yeah. and yeah you can in 10 years kind of can we do like date. a reunion episode and see where we oh, all are that'd be pretty cool like yeah. our community did their little <laughs> table read back in lockdown um yeah. that'd be cool, in cool. 10 years i'll be 70 whoa Whoa. That's, that's scary. Crazy. Yeah. Think about how much more wisdom you'll have accumulated in that time, though. <laughs> and Jed will <laughs> still lost. only be 10. That's right. <laughs> I'll stay youthful forever. Um, no, in 10 years' time, I'll be 34, which is scary as well. But uh, yeah, no, this oh is. Oh my God, I would trade anything to be that. <laughs> Jesus. How old are you now? Are you. You're like 50, right? I'm closing in on my, my mid to late 30s. That <laughs> <laughs> means he's going to be Don't 40. you know, it's not polite to ask a gentleman his age. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but I think we did this uh, yeah, in one of the chaos. Yeah, the problem with that, though, I'm, Rob, is gentlemen. Yes. Oh, yeah, I don't qualify. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm somewhere in my early 50s. There you go. A nice <laughs> vague ballpark for us to land in. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, like Dirk said, Dirk said, massive thank you to everyone for, for listening to this show. We hope that you had a, had a good time with this. Obviously, all the episodes are going to stay up, so you know, you're more than welcome to, to go back and, and relive it um, whenever you want, which is the cool thing about podcasts. The glory days. Uh, and yeah, like hopefully we you know, might do other interviews or that sort of thing in the future. Um, probably the main thing I would just say is if you want to stay up to date with what we're doing, you can uh, check us out by signing up to our email list or following us on social media. I'll get the links down below so that you can, yeah, see where we go on to from here. Um, and yeah, like with that all being said, uh, yeah, thank you so much for for listening or watching for the very last time. Wow, this feels crazy to be finally ending. It is weird. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks everybody. Right, goodbye, fuckers. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>